Hey everybody, it's Kermit here, and uh, I'm going to go fly my Grumman Wildcat. We're going to uh, do a little test flight here, and I'm going to go ahead and put on the Kermit cam so you can uh, get a little tour of what I'm up to. Let's go. Okay, the first thing we got to do is we got to make sure the uh, pedo covers off. This is actually where the airspeed uh, pressure goes inside there and moves a little diaphragm on the airspeed indicator that uh, uh, makes me know what the airspeed is. And we always put a cover on like that because the uh, mud daubers around here love to make nests in the little hole there. And sometimes when they do and we take off, we don't have any airspeed. So. Then I have to open the canopy and put my hand outside the windscreen. Uh, just doing a quick walk around here. Check the elevators. It looks good. Looking for safety wire, the condition of the fabric, the rudder. All looks good. Elevator over here. Just kind of looking at everything. Looking for dents. Looking for leaks. I'll get the guys to uh, help me. Uh, get the wings off here in a little bit and we'll show you how the wing fold works looking for kind of leaks here there's the uh, fuel gas escalator we want to make sure that uh, there's no water in the tank so we always drain that before we fly and water is actually heavier than fuel so it'll sink to the bottom of the tank this has a Curtis electric prop here there's actually an electric motor in there when I get in the cockpit, I'll show you how that works. This is the electrical line right here. Most of the uh, World War II airplanes use a, uh, uh, a hydromatic prop, which is actually uses oil pressure and a big piston up there to change the pitch on the blade. So, um, but this one uh, is the way they originally had it. Everything looks pretty good. I don't really see any leaks. Let me go grab my guys and we will get this thing ready and one of the things uh, we always check back in here is where we've got our battery want to make sure that it's connected okay it's all connected looks good everything's in the position let me go ahead and throw this in the Pouch over here. Put the pedo okay in there. This is a little map case. Got some little snaps to keep everything where we got it. Make sure the fuel's on it on the main tank. And uh, let me go get the guys. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to get the wings here with Brian. And what has to happen is uh, we go ahead and take this nut off. He has to pull the wing up so the cable gets slack. We take the uh, this off of here. Pull that pin. The, uh, and then what I do is I pull this little pin right here. Take that out. And then we let the wing go ahead and fall, so it'll just go down naturally to a certain point. Got that. Oh, not yet. Okay, so now what's going to happen here is I've got to make sure that this pin is out. So we've got a little handle here. It locks in there. And when the pin is out right here, the flag goes up on the wing. Okay, Brian, go ahead and push it all the way up. Hard, you gotta have to push it really hard. Harder. There we go. Okay, we go in there. And we double check to make sure that the flag's down. That goes up inside the wing. And that's one wing. Okay, I'll just lay that right there. Go ahead and get the other wing here. Brian's got the cable slack. Okay, got it, Brian. There goes the wing.
and the pin comes out, the flag goes up. Okay, push it up hard. Okay, it's locked. And we double check to make sure that the flag is down. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'll give you guys the cables. I'll tell you what, we'll get the uh, get the engine next here. So now one of the things that we always do before we uh, start one of these things 